the Keyboard Touch Instrument here in GarageBand, one of the coolest ways to get sounds into your GarageBand projects. However, until very recently, we haven't been able to have these very cool note labels here on our keyboard. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can add note labels to our keyboards here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, this is a tip that's going to help you out if you want to add these note labels, and perhaps you're new to music, or you just need to brush up on your musical theory, or you just think it's cool to be able to see which notes you're playing. Either way, this is how we do it. So what we need to do is to enable these, we need to go out of GarageBand entirely, and we need to go into our settings. So we need to go into our overall settings. So this is just where you do your normal settings here in your iOS device, your iPad or your iPad iPhone, if you scroll down on the left hand side here and tap on GarageBand, you're going to get these options. So there's a whole bunch of options in here, but the one we're looking for is to turn on the keyboard note labels. Let's turn these off and I'll just show you the difference. If we go back to our GarageBand now, there you go. We don't have the note labels on. This is what it will look like by default when you install GarageBand. But if you want to add these in, if we'll just double tap to go back to our settings, all we need to do is tap on our note labels, double tap again, go back to GarageBand and presto changeo, there are our note labels ready to go. So a very simple little tip, but the challenge here is that because it's not in GarageBand, it's over here in our global settings, it can be a little bit tricky to find. And uh, while we're here, the other note global settings we have here that are really interesting is our automatic recording length, which I recommend turning on. We've got our a, a, a iOS effect plugins here, which are some very cool AU plugins. And this is where we can reset GarageBand. So if GarageBand goes wrong, and I've got another video all about resetting GarageBand, we can reset it here, which if it crashes, if it's not loading, if something's gone wrong, then we can jump in here to fix that up. So that is going to do it. How cool is that? Note labels here in GarageBand. Very easy to do and I hope you found this useful if you've been looking to try work it out and haven't been able to find this setting in GarageBand. Just jump out to your global settings and you're good to go. And there you go, probably one of the quickest quick tips I've ever had here on the channel. But if you'd like some other slightly longer quick tips, we've got some linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by tapping on the Studio Live Today icon or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.